the war is all Caleb has ever known. He'd been fighting in the atheist army since he was just a boy. The enemy unleashed a war-ending weapon. The Necromancer. They won the war for the Mithraic, but also completely destroyed the Earth. Can these things do plastic surgery? Their cause and their planet lost. Caleb and his partner, Mary, steal the identities of high-ranking Mithraic dignitaries, Marcus and Sue. They board the Ark, a Mithraic transport bound for Kepler-22b to begin a new civilization. With their false identities came the liability of Marcus and Sue's true son, Paul. Where are his parents? We should go talk to him or something. You never talk to me. Neither do you. That is because... Because we're in the sim, right? Yes. They did say that people would seem a little different in the sim. Yeah, because we're in the sim. On the planet, Marcus discovers a settlement maintained by two androids and a human child. You come up and visit our ark. We can fix a broken down android. To Marcus's dismay, one of the androids is a necromancer. Angered and threatened, she lays waste to the ark and kidnaps five Mithraic children. One of those children is Paul. When reunited, Marcus and Sue set out to rescue him. While tracking their way back to the settlement, Marcus hears voices and believes them to be that of the Mithraic sun god, Saul. He proclaims himself the prophet foretold by the scriptures, the orphan boy who will come to lead the race into the next evolution of humanity. And so, a lifelong atheist, enemy of the Mithraic, has become a believer and their leader. Marcus convinces Paul to steal Mother's eyes, the source of her power she is helpless. The Mithraic take over the settlement, but Marcus's behavior becomes increasingly erratic, and Sue fears for her and Paul's safety. Together, they escape. As mysteriously as the voices started, so they ceased. Seemingly abandoned by Saul, Marcus's disciples assume treachery and leave him for dead. <laughs> Souls will be done. Thank you, Soul.